coming to you for Dates and Cakes, and today's episode is about my journey to Boston, where I met some wicked smart guys, or at least they thought they were. Um, <laughs> for today's episode, we are going to be making Buckeyes, because if you've watched any episodes of Dates and Cakes, you learn that uh, things get a little nutty. So, let's get started. Um, I was making my rounds around historic trails and uh, Freedom Trail to be specific and I stumbled upon a pub that said they had the best Bloody, Bloody Mary. So obviously this southerner has got to give a northern Bloody Mary a try. So it was the middle of the afternoon, early afternoon if you will, and uh, yeah, so I stumbled in there. Um, Is it okay if I sit here? And this beautiful man next to me is like, absolutely. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and naturally, uh, his two friends, um, a bit older, because they all laid bricks, they were like, hey, you want another Bloody Mary? Because I came in there for a Bloody Mary, and they couldn't believe, oh, I'm from Texas, and, um, you know, and if, if you're from Texas and someone starts singing the stars at night are big and bright. I mean, I just, I started clapping. Like it was, it was a big ordeal. It was great. So they offered to buy me another Bloody Mary. They're like, of course you do. Of course you want another one. And I was like, I mean, I'm not going to say no. It was pretty good. And I was like, it wasn't as spicy as I like, but it was pretty good. And they were like, what about a shot? What can you take a shot of? And I was like, what can I not take a shot of? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> So, we took shots of Crown, and they were like, oh my gosh, you didn't even make a face when you took a shot. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, let's get another one. And I was like, they're like, she's going to miss a flight. She's going to miss a flight. I can't do the accent. I'm sorry. And they, oh my gosh, they loved the accent. And I was like, I don't really have one. I just say y'all. And they were like, oh. And then um, the one next to me kind of freaked out whenever I said, um, because they asked what kind of music I listened to, and the other two were like, oh, that's so cool, you listen to classic rock, and blah, blah, and I was like, and reggaeton, and he was like, oh, you listen to reggaeton? And he was trying to get my, my Snapchat, along with the bartender's Snapchat. I know we're both bartenders, but, um, no, not interested. So then, um, <laughs> one of the older guys showed me his hat, and was like, look, I'm an... It, all us Boston guys were assholes. And I was like, mass holes, yeah, I'm aware. I did I do my research before I travel here. So why Boston? You want to come meet us? Blah blah blah. And <laughs> so I was wearing a bit of a um revealing um of my heart um <laughs> shirt. Okay. So now we are going to make a tray of our peanut butter mix and then pop it in the freezer so that it can firm up and then melt the chocolate and dip them in there. And that's it. Simple. So about these uh, simple guys. These guys in the bar point blank asked me if I would show them a boob. So a couple things here. You're just gonna ask for one. I guess like, you know, you don't wanna ask for too much and be greedy. Um, and I was, but, and they never said, oh, it's because we bought you shots. But they just were like, oh, come on, well, what about a picture? And I was like, do I, like, I'm a class act. I don't have those kind of pictures on my phone. And they're like, oh, and I'm like, and they're like, well, you're used to this, you're a bartender. And I'm like, ah, that's what I don't tell people what I do. I was like, yeah, but I'm a counselor too. And I'm used to like people that are toxic. And he's like, oh, the one that was my age, offered to take me to the airport, and I was like, absolutely not. I'm good. Like, that, I was like, I don't know you. So, needless to say, even with all the pressures, I kept my tits about me. <laughs> even in Boston. <laughs> Until next time, y'all.